Hello and welcome to the third part of the XCAM video tutorial. This part is a continuation of the second part, since we were not finished with the second part and all the basic stuff. So, here we go. And in the last part, I think there was one thing that was not really clear in relation to an object selection. So, I want to show you this first. But you know, first we have to select the object layer and I think we create a new project, yes. And I have to copy some objects. Okay, now if you select any saved object, double left click, and you want to change to another saved object, then you don't have to press every time the spacebar before you select or before you can select any other object. So you know, spacebar, double left click, spacebar, double left click. So it's easy because you have only to double left click the respective object. That's the focus, double left click. Okay, what next? I think I will show you how you can change the direction or change the height of any object because there are different ways to do that. But first I will change the object class to this one. Yes, that's okay. So then I will create some object copies. Press Q to change direction. Press C to copy. And now if you want to change the direction, press and hold down the left shift key and press and hold down the left mouse button. And then you know you can rotate the object and that's a stepless rotation. So that's easy. But there is another way to rotate objects and with this possibility you can rotate objects stepwise. And that is sometimes also really helpful. To use this function, press and hold down the left shift key again but then use the mouse wheel and as you can see the rotation is now stepwise and in addition there is the possibility to change the rotation in 45 degree steps and this simple function is very useful. To use this function press page up or page down and as you can see it's simple to find the right angle and then copy objects. In relation to the object orientation, there are two additional functions. And the first function sets the orientation from one object to the orientation from another object. So if you want to build a wall, for example, maybe here on the right side of this building, and you want that the wall have the same orientation as this building, then you know it's it's sometimes really difficult to find always r the right orientation but the following function can do that for you so take the first wall element and then simply set the focus to this building so you can see the yellow bounding box and in this state simply press the key tab 
and now the wall element have the same orientation as this building. And if you want to change the side of the object, uh, then simply press tab again and again until you find the right side. And then you can start to copy the objects. And with this simple function, it's very easy to find always the right orientation. Set the focus, hit the top key, begin with copy some objects. And once you have found the right orientation, it's simple to complete the wall, for example. So simply select the last object here, press C to copy, and now remember with page up, page down, you can rotate stepwise 45 degrees. And you know, simple to complete the wall. And the second additional function in relation to the object orientation is you can set the object orientation to the orientation of the camera. And to use this function press and hold down the left shift key and then press WASD and with these keys you can switch between the four different object sides but basically the object has the same orientation as the camera so that gives me the possibility to copy object exactly in this direction And remember, if you press WASD without holding down the left shift key, then you set the camera orientation to the orientation of the object. And if you hold down the left shift key, then you set the object orientation to the orientation of the camera. So that's the different. If you want to change the height of any object, then press and hold down the left control key, press and hold down the left mouse button and move your mouse up and down. And if you copy this object, for example, then each object has the same height, of course. And if you want to set an object back to the ground, then press the end key. And there is also the possibility, of course, to change the height stepwise. So press and hold down the left control key again, and then use the mouse wheel. And each 10 steps you reach exactly one bounding box high. So means at this point I have reached exactly one bounding box high as you can see. Also nice. 
So remember, left shift key and left mouse button rotate stepless. Left shift key and mouse wheel rotate stepwise. Left control key and left mouse button change the high stepless. Left control key and mouse wheel change the high stepwise. Press the end key to set the object back to the ground. And of course press page up and page down to rotate an object stepwise with 45 degrees steps. There is another nice function in relation to the object movement. And if you want to move any object by pressing down the left mouse button, you can drag the object to the position you want. But this kind of movement is a little bit, yeah, I mean, it's not really smooth, so it's hard to find the right position. But if you hold down the left alt key, during your drag the object, then you have a much smoother movement. So as you can see here, now I release the Alt key. Now I press the Alt key down. So you see, with this function, it's very easy to to find the correct position. And please remember, this function is also available if you have no object selected. So if you pan the camera by pressing down the left mouse button, and now you hold down the left Alt key, then you know the movement is much faster. But if you have any object selected, then the function goes exactly the other way because if you hold down the left alt key, the movement is much slower and very smooth. In addition, there is a similar function available for the high adjustment. So for example, if you want to place any object on the top of the wall, and you know, you press and hold down the left control key, hold down the left mouse button and move your mouse up and down. And as you can see, this movement is also not very smooth, so also hard to find the correct position. But if you hold down the left Alt key in addition to the left control key, then you have a much smoother movement. And the last function I want to show you in this tutorial part is uh, restricted movement. That means if you have selected any object, you can normally move the object around into any direction. But if you press and hold down the X key and you move your mouse left and right, you can move the object only on this axis. And if you hold down the Y key and move your mouse up and down, you can move the object only on this axis. So, and this function is sometimes also really helpful.